This is Star Talk. Scenario, you're in an elevator with a congressman who has a lot of say over where tax money gets spent. You have one minute until the elevator arrives at its destination. What examples of economic, technological, or any other returns would you use to convince him that space exploration is worth funding more? Yes. In, uh, it, with, uh, with a minute to go, I would say that it's going to stimulate the economy mm-hmm. uh, with uh, new technology, yeah. uh, new developments in the science field, uh, and it coming, new, new, new discoveries in materials and medicines and so on. It helps education because it inspires young people. Yeah. And it, it promotes international cooperation because we have our International Space Station right. and other science programs. And it gives us something for our future. It's about exploration in our future. Yes, by my reckoning, you did it in 56 seconds. Yeah. Nicely All right. done. Now onto my floor, and I'm on my way. <laughs> but, Bill, what would you say? I'd say space exploration brings out the best in us. It's inherently optimistic. It stimulates the economy in the U.S. at least $3.60 for every dollar that goes in. And we make discoveries that literally change the world. Astronomy has changed the world. We found that the Earth goes around the sun. That changed everything. Yeah. We found the sun's not unique. The first we found people the were maybe punished for it, but yes. <laughs> it Galileo sounds like it, yeah. But, but it did change the world. And yeah. now people throw around the expression, dark energy, dark matter, like it's a day at the office. But we all take it for granted that there is such a thing or such yeah. things. And these were not discovered even really 15 years ago. Who knows what new physics, who knows what it's over the next horizon and congressman, if I may just speak as a guy born in the U.S. and as a patriot, don't you want the U.S. to continue to lead in this thing? Isn't that what you want, Mr. Congressman? Yeah. Ms. Congressman. 